Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kendris. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about making a scene using 3D models in Clip Studio Paint. So in Clip Studio Paint, you can actually bring characters together and like make a scene kind of like this, you know, where the, both characters are like, interacting with each other or even something like this. We have like a big scene like, you know, for example, I have this guy, like this guy, giant guy fighting these like smaller guys. You can have this and show it from different angles. Um, you know, it can help you like draw it better and things like that. So really quickly, I can have uh, a lot of different like scenes and like, for example, if it's a comic, I can have a lot of different panels in just like a few seconds. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this and uh, a couple of tips and things to keep in mind when you're doing these kind of scenes and things like that. This two uh, I downloaded from the Clip Studio assets. You know the poses are gonna be separate like this, like one and two. Um, so let me show you real quickly. Just drag it. Uh, put it there. And see there, 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 pretty far, but you can just use this, uh, click this icon here and you can move them. You just, you gotta hold it and you gotta drag it, things like that. Um, and then here you can spin it, you can spin it around, put it into place kind of thing. And then you can drag. Um, you know, it's, I guess it's good to put it like a better, an easier angle to kind of like this a little bit so you can see the feet. So something to keep in mind when you're doing this is that the, they can't stand in the same place. They kind of, they can't go through each other a little bit like, like that, right? Like they, you can see they go through, but they cannot stand in the same place. So, you know, this cat, this guy kind of like step if you try to do that, you see how, how it goes, it gets a little weird, it moves to the side and things like that. So, uh, that's the only thing, like, you cannot, like, step on each other, kind of. <laughs> that, that would be the, the thing. So, you want, if you want to have one male, one female, you, for example, let's say, delete this one. Uh, you got to choose the, the body type first. So, so, let's say I choose the female drawing, though, right? Let's see. See there, and that's male and female, and then you add the pose later. So let me see, it's this one, uh, and now you add the pose. So you know, because if you just add it from there, it's, it's gonna be just male, both of them. And if you wanna make one shorter, you can go here to the object scale and like make it smaller, I guess. So this is like a big, bigger scene, like, you know, more characters. Uh, this character is actually like a giant, like it made it like object scale 300. So it's three times bigger than the other guys. So for this is the same, like, uh, you just drag the characters, uh, you know, maybe the pose or whatever, and you just drag it. So you see there, the character is back there. Uh, you can use this little icon here and move it around. You gotta hold it and, you know, bring it around. Uh, this one makes it like rotate. You can even, this one brings them up. So let's say you have a character flying or anything. You can just bring them up like that. <clears throat> also this, this arrows, uh, you can switch around, just click the, the arrow to, to the next character to make it easier to select them and stuff like that. Uh, so I say I want this character selected. Uh, is this, uh, so how this, so let's say I have this character selected, uh, and then I just click here for one of the angles and then I want to show this character, uh, this angle. So <clears throat> you can see if you want to show this character, you already see, uh, you know, you can have a cool angle. Uh, you can move it around, have like really interesting shots, like with the perspective and everything. Um, pretty cool. 
something else that you can do is here the perspective you see how it has like a really it's really high normally it's like a 4.72 uh, and I talk a, a lot about this stuff in my other video about uh, the perspective and things like that you see the three models uh, for perspective uh, so if you want to see a little more you can go there uh, so I have these three models here and uh, you know you can just pretty much just draw over it and like make your characters um, you know things like that have the shadows so yeah this is uh, another example here uh, it's gonna pose and then I just drew over it. No, so it's not too complicated. You can see like, you know, you just put the characters together and you know, you can move the camera around, things like that. Then you can go over and sketch and do all that. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, it's gonna be for the video. If you guys have any questions, any suggestions, anything like that, uh, leave that in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.